to a Royal Regional Fire Hospital. My name is Oboke Amos. I am the principal hospital administrator of this hospital. Palliative care, uh, we offer palliative care services in the hospital here. We have a clinic that operates in uh, alternative days and uh, we have the human source that offer these services here within our Fire Hospital. This we have done it for some time, though quite new, integrated into services, but we have made sure that it's an integral part of the healthcare service delivery we offer here in the Regional Fire Hospital. Our branch here is still young, we are still doing a lot to ensure that uh, it runs at minimal levels, though it requires funds. We need a fully operational clinic on a daily basis, such that we know out there the number of patients who need palliative care, but they are unable to access. This calls for support a lot. Uh, this means that we need support in terms of human resource, we need support in terms of um, space, we need support in terms of medicines and supplies. I'm Paul Dargaborusa Bilusi, a nursing officer, palliative care nurse, working with the new life hospice Arua. Hospice is a home that we are intending to build so that we look after our sick patients and uh, care for them, train people and uh, give treatment. Pain is actually the main symptom palliative care deals in. And the pain can really disorganize a patient. You cannot even eat. You cannot communicate with your relatives. So when pain is controlled, the patient can eat, can stay well with the patients. So New Life Hospice was started because we saw need for caring for these sick patients. So we started it in 2012 in, within the hospital. We bought a lamp for New Life Hospice at Idadam. It is a lamp which is already surveyed but no building in it. So we are looking forward to get support so that we have a building in that place to continue with the New Life Hospice. This care we have been moving to homes because in the hospital patients are seen but not followed at home. New Life Hospice in Arua takes up from there and we follow them in the homes, I give them treatment, give them counseling, give the caregivers support, even educate them on how to care about this patient. So that is what we are doing. Here we handle, among other cases, cases of cancer, which many times are not curable. The next best option for them would be palliative care. Doro Daisy Chelina. I'm 63 years old, a retired teacher. I was born in 
was well. I didn't have any pain, except in 2002 from the diploma education. So I ran my son, I said, I'm feeling A, B, C, D. So he came, said, let us go and see Dr. Omale. So we went there, then he said, agonized me. So after three days, the result came, it was cancer. In doctor's information there, he said, I should go to Arua Referral Hospital, he should put me on morphine. When the palliative care come to see me, the only, even, they just come with their, using their own money, no transport. That is their offer for me. I really thank the team, the palliative care gave for me. They are kind people, they don't want to lose people. My name is Ampold of Rudra Dress, nursing officer at the Royal Regional Faro Hospital and the treasurer of the Rita. Um, we take most of our money for membership fees. Um, we have organized the charity walk 2017, where we had a football match between Andukaraka and KCCA, and we raised some funds. And then we organized another charity walk in 2022, and the last one was in 2023. And all this little fund we get from the charity walk, we used it for purchasing land in the dam. That is the building of hospice where we hope the palliative patients will benefit. And then we also had dinner organized by Pekao in 2016 where they raised fund that was where we initiated the buying of the land. So we continue to pray that people will continue to help us, the donors, we all the funds from the well wishers so that we make the palliative care patients who benefit from the hospice we are attending to. I am Ramke Kennedy, a nursing officer and in charge of palliative care at Rural Regional Referral Hospital. Palliative care clinic, we operate from Mondays to Fridays, normal working time, and we offer a variety of services, including counseling of patients, also partnering with the New Life Hospice to see patients from home. Mostly, the conditions that we manage here in palliative care are cancers, then the sickle cell, HIV related conditions. We have uh, chronic liver diseases. We also manage complications from fractures and also burns. But of course, the leading one is cancer, and the, the common cancers here are the cancer of the cervix. We also have uh, cancer of the breast. We also have uh, the prostate, we have uh, liver cancers, we have cancer of the skin, cancer of the esophagus, cancer of the colon. Cumulatively, we have so far seen about 4,500 patients. Annually, we receive about 250 to 300 new cases, and also with a monthly average of 120 patients. So this is where we are. We appeal for your support. We know palliative care is quite a, a new health package and uh, we will welcome all your support. Thank you. Yes, my name is Anna Buana Maria Bopara. I'm, I'm an assistant nursing officer and a trained palliative care nurse. I work here in a rural regional referral hospital in the outpatients department. And uh, at the same time, I support the palliative care activities running in the hospital together with the New Life Hospice in Arua Hospital. One of the areas, or some of the areas that uh, we use to access our patients into care for, for palliative are the various entry points like the outpatient department, the children's ward, uh, medical ward, guide ward, postnatal, 
and so many other departments that uh, we liaise together to link us patients to the department here. Now, while we get these patients, uh, not only do we wait for them to come here, sometimes we have to reach out to them in their various wards, the, like those that I have mentioned, and in that we have to participate in the ward rounds such that we're able to work together as a team with the, with the doctors and nurses in those wards. Now, some of the drugs we, my colleagues, uh, I think, have shown you. We use uh, morphine, which is a commonest pain management drug that we have available, though sometimes it is actually not available or not enough to, to support all our patients who need pain management. Palliative care is not a one man's, pass, one man's role, but we need everybody brought on board. Look at the nurses, the lab people, the doctors, even administrators to support us. And that's when we shall be able to, to achieve the best out of this.